Hell's going to break loose. The rationale right now is that everything that the Trump presidency has done will boost economic growth. And we have seen second quarter GDP just being revised up to 4.2 percent. Now, the rationale here is that all of that will also help shrink the deficit. Now, that, that's just wishful thinking. 4.2 percent, we had four quarters since 210 with 4 percent or better. We had 11 quarters with 3 percent or, or better. And then two quarters later, it's down to one or, or hardly anything at all. The, the 4 percent was an anomaly. One point of that was due to trade pull forward and soybeans and all the rest of it. Second uh, part of it was due to consumer spending money that that Uncle Sam was borrowing to put in their pocket. That's a one-time thing. There, there is no acceleration. And Trump, crazy, 10th year of a business expansion is driving the deficit to 1.2 trillion, 6% of GDP. This is never heard of. Yeah. This would be considered absolute sheer insanity by anybody who could remember anything more than four years ago or four weeks ago. I happen to be one of those, <laughs> and I know this is nuts. There's no question it's unprecedented, but let me ask you about one specific aspect of their approach. What they say is because particularly they've expensed capital investment, that we're going to get an inflow of capital investment, which does seem to be turning around, that will actually increase productivity and help us grow our way out of it. What's wrong with that theory? Yeah, but the, the numbers don't possibly work. We're, we're taxing 16.5% of GDP. That means that for every dollar of revenue loss, you got to have $7 of uh, new GDP growth. It's not going to happen. Besides that, look at the uh, orders numbers for CapEx, uh, mm -hmm. less uh, aircraft and defense. You know, they're, they're more or less flat. Uh, there isn't any. You know why? Because when interest rates were driven so low, any project that could get financed got financed. In other words, there isn't a pent up uh, demand for investment capital because taxes were too high. This is just a gift to Wall Street, to the 1% and the 10% who are getting massive stock buybacks. This year, there's going to be two and a half trillion of stock buybacks, dividends, and M&A deals. Wow. That's where all the money went. It didn't go right. into investment. It didn't go into growth. David, thank you so much, I think, for a fairly sobering... <laughs> Man, he is such a genius. Please follow his uh, YouTube channel. Uh, he worked for Ronald Reagan, um, David Stockman. He was the uh, budget director. Um, but he's right. I mean, Trump is making America look great, but I do feel like, and like I said, I don't think uh, it's his fault necessarily because obviously Obama had a lot to do with this. But what he's doing is he's just delaying the inevitable and the crash will come. And when it does... I do feel like cryptocurrency will be one of the better asset classes to hold. Now, if you've never invested, I do highly recommend that you subscribe to this channel and I will be covering more news and posting information on how to learn to invest in crypto. But uh, I recommend that you start very, very small. You just make small, small transactions in the beginning and spend most of your time on YouTube and the internet educating yourself. But it doesn't look good for the U.S. economy long term, but short term we're okay. And that's why crypto prices might be down for another year or two. But it's going to come back, especially once the, Uni the United States economy starts to uh, have its day of reckoning. Uh, and like I said, they can keep kicking it down the can. So that's why I don't think anyone should be predicting whether it's this year, next year, or maybe three years. Because there's always ways where central bankers can get out of it or push it down even more. But eventually it will collapse and that day is coming sooner than later. Let me know your thoughts on this and I will talk to you guys soon.